Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, determine the resultant moment produced by the forces about point O. Alright, so let's uh, divide these particular forces into their various components. So for F1, we have one component in this direction like so, and another in this direction like so. Okay, F2 will have one component in this direction like so, and another in that direction like so. What else? I think this is all. The other distances are already given. Let's write what these are. So this one is equal to 500 times the run, which is a 4 divided by the hypotenuse. This one is 500 times the rise, which is 3 divided by the hypotenuse. And this one, which is 600 cos the angle. This one is 600 sine the angle. Okay. So what do we have? We have MRR. Okay, about point O and clockwise in our reference. This is equal to the summation of FD, like so. So let's start now, summing up the forces. Let's start with the 500. This one is negative. Uh, negative, so we have minus uh, 500, 4 over 5. Okay, we can simplify this further, right? Let's simplify it further. So this one is equal to 500, 5, 5, 5 into 500 is 100 by 4. That is 400. Okay. Then this one is 300. All right. Then this one, cos system, we know is 0.5. So I can summarize this one. This one is equal to 300. Okay. Okay. So let's write down now this. So we'll have a minus 400. That is negative moment. We're having a negative moment in this direction for this one. Like so. Okay. About point O. Okay. So 400 by the lever arm, uh, which is 0.25. Okay, and then the other one also minus 300 is a negative moment by also 0.25. Okay, and then this other one there to be a plus this one. Okay, and clockwise. So plus 300 times. Uh, 0.3 plus 0.125 and then this other one here will be clockwise so this one is just equal to 600 sine 60 by um, 0.3 plus 0.125 okay therefore this just gives us MRO or resultant moment about point O is equal to minus 400 by 0.25 300 by 0.25 plus 300.3 plus one to five and minus six hundred sine sixteen. Let me put it in brackets sine sixteen by point three plus point one to five. Okay. So this gives us a minus uh two sixty eight point uh, 34. This one is in Newton meters. Let me check it once more again. That's uh, minus 400 
as minus 700 by 0.25 plus 300 by 0.3 plus 0.125 okay okay maybe this one i can say 300 minus 600 sine 16 by 0.3 plus 0.125 okay minus 268.34 so this is negative it means it's clockwise so we can write it like this 268.34 newton meters and uh, this is clockwise so we can say like this okay so we can also show it here this is clockwise so this one is clockwise like that so this one is equal to 268 all right this is 268.34 newton meters all right so let me just outline the solution here so there we go there we go. Alright, so I think this is about it and I hope this video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.